Hello everyone, hello everyone. Hopefully you are good. Uh, your main actual course is here. You can see me. So we are about to proceed from where we stopped. Uh, if I recall, we are doing sets, set theory. So uh, what basically we are going to talk about, remember set is a collection of elements. So subjects, or so we have uh, the union of two sets, intersection of two sets, and uh, the complementation of sets, and we have basic laws which you have to approach. So uh, without waste more of time, I'll just do only one example, then I make you understand or what do we mean about the union of two sets, uh, the intersection of two sets, and also the equality of two sets. So you'll understand about that. That one of the aspects which we'll do. So we have to first look at those particular definitions as we did in logics, mathematical logics, but there's no quite a difference uh, the similar from what we did before. So pay attention, open your eyes and ears and be willing to learn because if you're not these things, they won't be easy for you to grasp. So please do yourself a favor. Uh, hello everyone, and uh, we're continuing with a uh, set so consider this exercise that we're about to do yes so i just want to share with you what i understand what about the intersection the union and those basic concepts regarding sets so we're given here uh, three sets and the universal sets to be set of integers which is that you know it ranges from negative infinity to positive infinity infinity is a set of all negative integers and positive integers including zero so our a is defined by x an element of integers so such that this x is even and the absolute value of x must be less than five so if you may recall very much well about the absolute value of x less than 5 is similar to the saying that x is between negative 5 and 5. And we just said our x is even. So that's why we're having this element for a because they are between negative 5 and 5 and they are even understand that one. So for B, we are having X an element of integer such that uh, X vectorial is less than 25 and if the same thing, absolute value of X vectorial less than 25 is not different from X vectorial being in between negative 25 and 25. So, here we just have to understand what is this guy x factorial. x factorial is given by x into x minus 1, x minus 2 until you multiply 1. That number will decrease until 1. And this works for, as you can see here, what? We are doing it x an element of integer, so there's no way x will be the fraction or what it will be integer. So we can start with zero, zero factorial, we find one, one factorial, we find one. By the way, the factorial sign is there in your calculator, you just punch shift the factorial sign after punching the number which you are looking for. So two factorial is the same as two multiplied by. 2 minus 1, which is 2 times 1, so that's why it's also 2. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6, so I didn't have to write 1 because it doesn't make any difference. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. I didn't write 1 because it doesn't make any difference, so it's 24. So that's how I listed the elements because x an element of integer for b. So the reason I started from negative 4, negative 4 is part of set of integer and is in this interval. 
for defining our x vectorial because putting a negative sign it will just a uh, make it negative so example negative three vectorials just negative six negative four vectorials just negative 24 so the elements are what are negative four negative three negative two until four so uh, this is not uh, as you can see the way i defined my set this is not different to a set x an element of integers such that uh, the absolute value of x is actually less than 4. So that's why it's our, how our set B is defined. That's or less than or equal to 4. The equal sign must hold for 4. Yes, that's how for set B. For set C, x is an element of integers such that x squared is less than 50. So, this is, remember, these are the restrictions. Your elements are defined by x being element of integer under this restriction. That's why when we list the elements of a, we list the elements of x. We didn't say uh, the elements of a are what? Are 1, 1, then we say 6, 24, no. The element of x, because this is the restriction that x is going under for a. This is the another restriction that x is going under for set b. And this is for set c. If you can look at these three sets, the restrictions are not the same, they are different. So you have to understand how the set is defined. So it is defined under certain restrictions. So yeah. So for this one, it's x squared less than 50. So, and the number closest to that is negative 7, if it's um, 7. So, negative 7 squared is 49, 7 is 49. So, the list of all elements is which is not different from defining as absolute value of x less than equals to 7. So, now, uh, if you can look in here, what I see from here, I can see that what's going on is that A is a subset of B and B is a subset of C and C is a subset of the universal set. So let me just uh, Draw what I'm talking about. This is your living it here. This is the universal set, so it's the set of integers. So, in this case, we have a, a big set. This big set that we have here is your set C. So, the set inside is your set. And the smaller set inside is your set A. What do I mean about this? When I say A is a subset of B, what I'm saying is that every element in set A is containing B. Because if you can check carefully, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4 is contained here. Here is it. It's contained here in B. That's why I say A is just, it's inside B. A being a subset of B, it means A is inside B. So, and B also is inside C. So you see how this indicates. So, this will help you to understand uh, if you have to list the element. So let's just start with, the, with, with something that we have to see here. So, we know very much well that A is a subset of B. So, which means in this case, if that's the case, what is A union B? Since A is in B, A union B is B, and A intersect B is A. You can see that even the union 
of A union B is still the subset of B because it's actually B. Even the intersection is A, which is a subset of B. So you can we can conclude with this. We can conclude with this that the intersection the intersection is a subset of the union. Because we know that A is a subset of B. And the intersection is A and the union is B, so it doesn't change anything. So, we can even see with, uh, with the three sets. So, what is common between the three sets? What's common between the three sets is still A. A is common between the three sets. And the union of the three sets is C. That, but here is not my interest. I was just illustrating what's going on. So, my interest is how, how are we going to define the union, the intersection, and the complement of the set. So that's where the interest is. So you understand, this is what is going on. So allow me to release, then I show you what, where my interest is. So, yeah. So, Set A minus C. How can we define this set? This set, we want to find out if we have A only. Do we have a set called A only from these three sets? So, in other words, we are looking for a set A intersect C. Complement. So the first thing first, we have to define C complement. What is C complement? So what is a set called C complement? The complement of a set. C complement is given by what? Is given by the universal set minus C. So what is this set? It's a set that acts as an element of a set of integers since we defined this to be the set of integers such that x is not in C. What is this set? This set is defined by X an element of integer such that we are going to complement the re restriction of C. So it will be X squared greater or equals to 50. And that's how our C complement is defined. From there, this one. So if we can look carefully, we eliminate every element of C in here. Is there an A is contained in C? So, we'll have our X being negative 8 going to negative infinity and our X being 8 going to positive infinity and when we intersect that, it will have nothing in common with A. That's why we can say this set is empty. It's empty. But let's see one way around. So, what about now? We are looking for a set C minus B. This is the same as this set. C intersect B complement. So, what is a set called B complement? Same story. A set called 
is given by x an element of integers such that x is not in b because we are complementing b so this set is defined by what when we complement b where is our b we complement our set b so the same way we did so this is the same as what uh, this is uh, x an element of integers such that absolute value of x factorial s greater or equals to 25. And if you may recall, for the complement of set C and set B, remember, this uh, set B is equivalent to this. And when we complement this, it means we can also write it in this way. X an element of integer such that absolute value of X greater than 4. And for this one, same thing, we can write X an element of integer such that absolute value of x greater than 7 because of this because we said it's the it's same as the set c so you see what's going on so we want to see so which which elements that are in c only so here in other ways we are looking for C only and are not in B. So when we complement B, it means that in other words, we are subtracting set B from C. So we remove every element that is in B. We don't need it to be in C. So we need C only. So if we can check negative, this part is not in B. And this part is not in B. So C only is just defined by negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, 5, 6, and 7. That's how our set it is defined. So nothing more I can do on this. So it's a matter of understanding how sets do operate. So here, we just uh, resulted with a theorem which is very much helpful. Which is very much helpful here. So, this theorem says, if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of C, then the following are true. Because then A then A is a subset of B which is a subset of C and the following are true. Okay. We're just uh, shown. We're giving the elements. We're shown. We just shown that uh, A intersect B is a subset of A union. B, which is the subset of what? Of A union C, which is also a subset of 
B union C. So, if you can realize it very much well, A union C and B union C. They are equal because they are all equal to set B as we show. So, for the other part, we know that C, this is the big one, minus A is just elements that are not in A. So, so, it's just elements that are not in A. So, let me just not write this one. So, we also know what we know else. What else do we know? We also know about uh, that the intersection of this three sets is A and the union of the three sets is C. So, this is what we have concluded on. So, you just have to understand, don't claim these things. Uh, we'll do uh, more examples uh, as time goes on. So, I just need you to understand that under set theory, uh, we also have the cardinality of a set. A cardinality of a set is the number of elements in a set. So, cardinality of set A, we count the elements that are in A. One, two, three, four, five. So, it's five. Cardinality of set B, we count the elements that are in B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine. And cardinality of set C becomes the element that I in C. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it's 15. So these ones are our element. Our number, number cardinality is the number of elements in a set. So the number of elements of set A is 5. The number of elements of set B is 9. The number of elements of set C is 15. So the cardinality for the universal set since we, we have infinite number of integers, we don't know. So, but you just have to understand this one. That if we have an empty set, regarding the empty set, it's a set with no elements in it. But, what you also have to realize that this set like this, this set is not the same as empty set because this set is just a set that contains an empty set. An empty set, therefore, is not empty. So, if you understand the definition, so the set will only be equal if they are subset of one another so without waste of time i will pause this video uh, here i uh, will continue next time thank you i'm articles by the way